Alright, I feel like having another Bombay. I already had one today, but now I got Coca-Cola instead. And I'm going to try to make it with that. So let's start. First off, to get your coffee. Make sure you flip the lid somewhere. Pour your coffee in your mortar and pestle. No good amount. Bombay has a lot of caffeine. There you go. Got your coffee in there. Then stir it around. Grind it up. Until it gets really fine. So I'll show you how long it takes. It's very fast with a mortar and pestle. It's very, very fast. Not like it would be in prison. This is not for prisoners, though, of course, because if you're in prison, you already make this. Or you could, depending if you, have the, if, if you like it. I happen to like this. It's not bad. Just keep mixing it. It'll get really fine, really fast. Doesn't take very long. But just mix it. Mix it, and mix it, you're grinding it up is what you're really doing, and turn that sound off in the background, that was stupid, but you just keep mixing it until it gets really fine. That's probably more fine than they can get in prison already. But it gets really fine. I don't know if you can tell. If I go like this. Very fine. Take that. Get your bowl. Pour it in. This is the third time I'll be making it now. Now you're more impressed with it. All done. Your Kool Aid's already fit fine enough. I got cherry Kool-Aid, it's the only one I could find. You want a little bit more Kool-Aid than you have coffee. And the way you tell, you mix it together. It looks a little, it needs to be a little bit more Kool-Aid than that. Just a wee bit. For my liking. A little more Kool-Aid. You get it mixing good. Kind of looks like this when you're ready. Kind of pinkish. Then you just add a little bit of soda. Let's get this open. Just add just just a little bit. Barely any. And kind of just mix it. It's gonna take a little bit more soda than that. But you don't know until you pour it in. So just a tad bit. I haven't done that with the cola yet. Yeah, that looks like that's enough. You'll know it's enough when it starts to look like this ahead of time, and it will get real thick. You just keep stirring it. I know it's a little weird for somebody not locked up to like in Bombay, but I do. It's not that bad. And then it kind of looks like this. When you when you get the right consistency to start stirring. Then you just stir it for a while. So I'm going to stir this for a while. And then I'll continue this video. Or I could just stir it for a while. And just show you that it takes approximately... 
20 minutes to do it to get it to change color. So it looks this color right now. It's already starting to change color. But since I have cherry Kool-Aid, it won't get quite as pink as it does with uh, what I've seen it on some of the prison channels where they use tea with lemon or some light colored Kool-Aid. This is a dark colored Kool-Aid. So it starts to change color really quickly. But you just mix it for a long time. And it changes consistency completely. But each time I've made it, I've made it the right way. I made a, a couple other videos of it already mixed. If I haven't tried it with, with Coca-Cola, I have a feeling it's going to taste better. Because I like to taste the cola better than I do strawberry soda. Which is what I used last time, was this Fanta strawberry. And I don't like the strawberry, because the strawberry soda doesn't taste that good. But... I don't like cola too much, but so you just keep stirring it. And it comes out good. It's already changed color. You do this for a number of minutes. And it swells up, is what they say. What they're really saying is that it thickens up because the reaction, whatever this reaction happens to be, thickens up. You don't have to stir it for too long. And I've seen it in other ones add more liquid as they go. I tend to try to just get it to the right consistency ahead of time and then stir it. And mine is thick already because I didn't add too much liquid. So you just keep stirring it. Just keep stirring, just keep stirring, just keep stirring. And in the prison, they have nothing but time, so they just stir this forever. Because they got all the time in the world. Ooh. That does taste better than it did with the strawberry. I see why this other guy who made it used cola. The peasy didn't do it right. Like, he made the... We made a brick earlier. And that brick tasted delicious. And he showed us how to make the brick correctly because I think that's something that they normally would make. My brother's been to prison. He said that spreads and bricks, you get kind of old. It gets kind of old when you get out of prison. You don't want to do it anymore because it's all you had. I guess I could add a little more soda, but I kind of like it thick like this. But I think you're supposed to add more. I think it's supposed to because this is already thick. It's already thick, but. Once I stir this enough, you can hold it upside down and it won't fall. I saw that um, one of these guys on the channel, he goes by Bullet. He makes Bombay. Always saying, yes sir, yes sir, Bombay, Bombay. He gets all excited about it. I don't know if it's something to be excited about. Maybe there it is. It's, it's a caffeine rush for one. But I'm already using a caffeinated soda. Plus this coffee. It's definitely a caffeine rush. But caffeine doesn't really have the effect on me that it has on other people. Not quite. As you see, it's already started to change colors. This prison cooking with Josh. It's another popular Bombay video. This white guy that uh, made it with his wife who was pregnant or something like that. He enjoyed it. He said it made the, the cola taste better. He wasn't a big fan of cola. More of a Mountain Dew kind of guy. 
which I might try this with Mountain Dew if I can get a lighter, a lighter flavored Kool-Aid. But cherry and Coke goes pretty good together. See, it says cherry right there. Cherry. But this is the only one I could find in the Safeway that I went to. They didn't have anything else. I think I'll add a little bit more because it's a little too thick. At the same time, yeah, I'm going to add a tiny bit. Just a little bit. And then it will thicken back up. This will help dissolve some of the extra. Well, I've noticed that if you don't add enough liquid and you just stir it, I guess the problem is what I've noticed with the first time I did it to the second time I did it is that you get these it gets grainy so I guess you just got to keep adding soda slowly as you stir it and whip it and keep getting it thick over and over you just add a little bit of soda each time that's what I saw from one of these guys channels is that you just add soda throughout the process and it dissolves all the coffee so you get this good flavor all right this is whipping a little better now I might as well show you a full video you know of what it's like to make Bombay you don't have to do it for a full hour and it doesn't have to turn pink I'm no professional Bombay maker, but that looks pretty good. I know nobody's going to watch this because I'm not famous. I'm also not in prison, so that's a plus. But I'm fascinated by prison food, prison meals, what they're able to do. It's fascinating. It really is. It's already changed complexion. I could see adding that soda was a good idea. Now it's thickened up to about the same as it was. So I'll add a little bit more soda just to see what it's like because I've seen it runnier on some of the prison videos see it thicker on other ones I've tried it very thick very very thick and I haven't tried it thinner first time I made it I made it extremely thick this time I'm just gonna let the, the coffee and the kool-aid mix a little bit better with the soda and get it to the same thickness as I did the first time, but by adding a little bit of soda as you go. This would be the longest Bombay video ever. Because they always are so short because this part's so boring. Maybe to somebody it's not. Possibly not. But Bombay is fun to make. It's not the tastiest thing in the world, but it is fun to make. And I just want to see how it is. See that just slowly fall off the spoon. So we stir this till it gets thick. I guess we could use an electric blender. My hands are already starting to get a little bit dead. There we go. And I added about half a bowl of this, half of this thing full of coffee. And having a mortar and pestle makes it a lot easier 
to grind that up. It would probably take a lot longer. Not probably. It would definitely take a whole lot longer to get that coffee ground. Because they, they come, it comes thick with these big pieces. But it doesn't take very long with the coffee. And I got Jolly Ranchers in case I wanted to use them. I wouldn't use this one though. Although it probably would be good with it. But I'm not using Jolly Rancher inside the soda. That's that's for the strawberry soda. That's how the Georgia prison people do it. They use strawberry. But I guess other prisons use different flavors. This time I'm trying Coca-Cola like I already showed. If you can't see that. I guess you're probably not watching this part of the video anyways. This is the part of the video that I would say skip. But. That's how you make a bubble. Somebody at my work, he's from the South. I think he actually is from Georgia. And he said that he had a Bombay before. He said there's different ways to make it. So I'll try and make it sometime with something that's not cherry. Probably make it with, I'll see if I can find some tea with lemon. Try to make it the regular way that it's made down in the prison system. Down there with Jolly Ranchers. And I got a different flavor. Get it. I got the went to Winco and found the atomic fireballs and they were mixing this with strawberry soda, putting it in as well as the Jolly Ranchers, putting that in. See it looks a lot different than it did originally. You could just go back in the video, rewind, and then go forward. It's starting to get real thick. I don't know if it's thick enough to go upside down without falling. Yeah, seems like it. But the spoon's too heavy. But yeah, it's not falling. That, that's that one guy showed. It's like a Dairy Queen commercial. He he did that, so I guess that's how you tell if it's good or not. Got some of my thumb. It doesn't spill when you put it upside down and say, no, it's good. According to somebody in prison that was a chef, a prison chef. I don't think you need to do it for a full hour. And I think that this just makes it so it's darker color, so it would be pink if I was to use a lighter colored thing I'll try it with I'll try the Bombay with different kinds of stuff and I'll just make a video series of different prison meals and whatnot that I recreate that I will show first what it's like to eat it taste it you name it and then uh, then show the process and other videos of how to make it like I'm doing this one It's fun to make. Gets this really creamy texture. And there's this uh, video online. I can't remember if it's like something cooking with Josh or something. I can't remember what it actually was. You just look up Bombay prison drink or Bombay coffee or something like that. It'll pull up a few. One of them is cooking with cons. They use tea with lemon. And so does uh, Surviving the Trap. Um, I think that's the name of the other YouTube video, YouTube YouTube um, channel. And then there's one with a white guy who sounds like he's from the South. And he makes it, but he get, keeps it grainy. He doesn't get it to this creamy texture that I got here. There we go. That looks like good Bombay. It didn't take too long. But I haven't added that extra flavor that they add with the cinnamon candy. That spicy cinnamon candy.
but it definitely fluffs up and becomes like twice the size of the of the original amount it definitely fluffs up and this is enough for two drinks I put I usually make more than this because I was not knowing and I tried to make less this time and it's I fluffed it up real good because I guess I added the right amount of soda but I guess they keep adding soda to it and keep fluffing it up but see it doesn't want to come off the spoon really so I say that I'm doing a pretty good job maybe somebody in prison goes you didn't do a good job I'm actually a real chef in real life I just I'm fascinated by some of the stuff that I never thought of making before because it just never crossed my mind. So I found this guy named Pete DePZ2099 on the internet and then he did a Bombay where he did it completely wrong. But it made me research Bombay to find out how it's made correctly. And then I messed around with it. And as you see, I figured it out. I'll just have to try it with different flavors, different methods. I'll have to get that, I think it's C&C &C strawberry soda that they have down in Georgia. I'll have to order that through Amazon or some other third party. Get that soda, mix in the Jolly Ranchers, dissolve the Jolly Ranchers and dissolve the cinnamon stuff and do it. Make it with that flavor. That is how surviving the trap said it he was like mixing that flavor yes sir yes sir that flavor that flavor and i'm sure that tasted pretty damn good especially being a prisoner and all that i i have you know respect for the fact that how he acts uh, since he got out he acts really 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 mature and like he learned his lesson he gives good advice about women stay away from women <laughs> I, I'm divorced myself so I can definitely say stay away from women <laughs> just kidding women but uh yeah let's see I think this is about ready took a little while but now it's creamy texture I don't think it's going to get any creamier I don't think you need to do it for over an hour if I go like this and go upside down it's not falling that's what that one guy showed in the video he's like he's Bombay Bombay <laughs> and then he's saying it I'm mocking him a little bit because it's funny but if you look at the comment section it's just as bad but that's how he showed how it was good that it didn't fall so I did a good job there according to what I've seen in official videos from prison so now you just take your, your your cup. I'm gonna use this cup so you can see through it. You get it in. I'm gonna take a big amount. Put it in the cup. I might have two cups. Or I might just clean out that bowl. I think that's enough, but hell, yeah, that's enough. Don't need any more than that. I don't want too much caffeine. I already had one of these today. But I have a good heart. So you just pour it in. It's going to foam up like a bitch. Like a total bitch. It just foams up. And then, what they do in prison is either one or two things. They put ice in there and they either drink it with the chunks and everything or they stir it until it's not there. I prefer to not drink it with the chunks. I prefer to stir it. But it flattens the soda. The mixture, for some reason, makes the soda like instantly flat. So maybe that's why they drink it like that with the carbonation still. The carbonation's already gone, though. It's long since gone. And I like to stir mine. Personally. I don't like the chunks. See how it sticks, stays stuck to the, the spoon? It gets this kind of mixture. And I like it creamy. It 
it's a good energy drink. Not good for your heart. Definitely not good for diabetes. I don't have diabetes yet. But I'm on my way of making it if I keep making this prison stuff. But I was on a diet, but I will be right back on that same diet when I have enough money to afford it. But because it's like 80 bucks a week, it's expensive. Diets are not cheap. But my New Year's resolution was not to lose weight. Because I can just do that. That doesn't need to be a resolution. My New Year's resolution is to try out as many prison drinks as I can to enjoy society. Both locked up and not locked up. So, they don't always stir it. And the prison part, they just kind of drink it the way it is. But, I've seen it both ways done. And... I'm not going to suck off that spoon. Yeah, <laughs> suck off. Alright. Time to see how this tastes. With this. Yeah. Rinse that off. Let me see. I'm going to see if there's any more in there by cleaning out the spoon. I'm going to see if I come up with more. A little bit. Okay. Bottoms up. I like Bombay's. They're not bad. I like mixing it like that. It comes out. Ooh, there's that energy. Doesn't affect me quite as much as it might affect someone else. But, yeah, that's good. That's real good. I'm going to add a little bit more soda to it. And no more Bombay mix. I think this is the only Bombay I'm going to drink tonight, but I might drink another one. I'm going to see what it tastes like when you add more soda. And then just slowly stir a little bit of it. Hmm. That's not bad, actually. It's definitely better with cola than it is with strawberry. That's what I would say. I would say that with strawberry, including the Jolly Ranchers and all that, ain't got nothing on the cola. The cola's better. The cola also seems to thicken up. See how that doesn't fall, doesn't move? That's what that one guy, um, the bullet, is, is, I think it was his prison name, or his cook name, not sure which one to call it, he would hold it upside down to make sure that it, you see that it was not falling. Well, mine's doing that, so I guess I did it just right. I don't drink it with the ice, because I don't like it with ice. Ugh. The Bombay gets stuck on the ice. And then it's just weird. And then you drink the chunks. I like it mixed in and foamy. But everybody has their own likings. That's just the way that I prefer it. But, that's Bombay. Then, when you let it sit for a minute, the foam kind of goes back. And then it gets less foamy on the bottom. But I guess that's probably why they drink it like that. Is so that they don't get all the foam. But I kind of like it creamy like that. But that's a Bombay. That's how you make one. It doesn't take too long. And, of course, your Bombay should be thick. It should be creamy. It should look like that. If you're using cherry, if you're using a lighter color that's not cherry, it should look pink. Mm. Almost finished that whole thing. Damn. That was good. 
took a while to make, but at the end of the day, it's pretty good. Y'all enjoy your uh, rest of your day. Ugh. That's as much as I can handle. Well, I might finish it. Cheers up. I don't need the rest. I already drank one of these today. I just didn't show the whole video. Oh, I guess I didn't get all of it. See, some of it was stuck to the sides. I tried to get all of it in there, but I'll just soak it up. I might have more later. Maybe. But it tastes better than the soda itself. But like I said, as long as your stuff is thick and don't fall, you got it right. Peace out.